we've received a lot of remarkable things in the mailroom, and it's a high point for us. It's Christmas, I don't know, it's, it's different than Christmas, but it is an unmistakable morale booster for what Nate and I are doing with this channel to receive these treasures that come in the mailroom. But we've never received anything that is as overtly an honor as this is. And what it is, is an American flag. And let me read what it says on the certificate that came with it. 34th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron. This flag was flown for essential craftsmen on the 28th of January, 2020, over the Arabian Gulf in an F-35 Lightning II in support of Combined Defense of the Arabian Gulf, first Rude Ram F-35A combat deployment, signed by the pilot, Lieutenant Jason Nails Chug. This flag comes to us from Kent Parsons. Kent is, is deployed to an undisclosed location in the Middle East. He found the channel prior to deployment. He's continued to watch and he's introduced his buddies to it. Look at these guys. This is a serious bunch of firefighters from all over the place in a very hostile envir environment right now supporting the Air Force in uh, defending against fires. That's serious work in a serious location. And Ken and friends, thank you very much. They noticed that there was no American flag displayed at the spec house and they thought they would do something about that. Kent, you got it. Now, we, we're not putting the flag up until the house is more civilized than it is now. I mean, it would get hurt, it would get knocked down. It's not the right time, but the right time will be coming. And before we have the open house, we're gonna hang this flag on a pole off one of those front columns. It'll be beautiful and it will be a token of the honor and the uh, gift that you guys sent us here at Essential Craftsman. Now, once the house is done and sold, we don't know if it's gonna go with the new owner or whether it's gonna come back and have a permanent location here in the shop. But in any case, it's something that anybody can appreciate. Thank you very much. These next items come to us from Daryl Campbell and he sent me books before that he's written. And he's written another book apparently about um, lighter than air airships, the rise of turtle airships, Helium Phoenix. Looks interesting, Daryl. And he included after watching our video about, I made a couple of Bowie knives and he has long been sort of enchanted by the story of Jim Bowie developing and having forged by a blacksmith Bowie knives. And that story or a version of that story is included, he says, in this book, The Iron Mistress by Paul I. Wellman. He says, Twixt pages 176 and 186. So I'm going to read that much at least, digest it, see what I learn about the development of those legendary blades, and then probably talk about it on we do a podcast. We have a podcast on YouTube channel EC2. So you might check it out. Nate and I sometimes go over things that we're reading and talk about books that are coming up or that have recently been brought to our attention. And so I'm sure we'll have something to say about the Iron Mistress and the account of Jim Bowie developing his legendary fighter. These next items are flashlights, but they're only barely flashlights. They're closer to a weapon than a flashlight. They come to us from Nick at Olight. And he reached out and he said, hey, I'd like to send you these flashlights. And I'll tell you what, man, he's got this thing, which has got to be pretty much what law enforcement officers use. And then this one, which would clip to the bill of a, you know, a, a hat, a baseball hat. This one is rechargeable and hangs on your, your uh, key ring. But here's the thing. Apparently, flashlight technology has been marching forward like every other kind of technology because these have no resemblance at all to any flashlight I've ever used, except they make light. It, it feels to me at night like you're looking at an, an arc from an arc welder. It feels like if you stared at it without eye protection, you're going to have spots in your eyes for a while because these things are unbelievably intense. And so with that disclaimer that they are seriously bright, Nate's put a link to the video, an Amazon link. You can go there. I think there's a discount code. Once you've had one of these things, you are not going to be pleased with any other flashlight if it's light that you want. So you probably know that I hesitate to review tools until I've put them through some kind of tough living. So I don't know if it'll be six months or a year from now, but we'll, come, we'll circle back around and let you know how they held up in the shop and in the tool tank and on the job and after dark repairing some some of the projects at Spec House that are probably going to need to be repaired when the subcontractors don't quite get it right. 
or who knows? I don't know what it'll be, but we'll have more to say about these things. But in the meantime, I, it wouldn't surprise me to see these on the Starship Enterprise sometime when they really need light and there's no light to be found. So thanks, Nick. We'll see how they work. So this next item, almost unbelievable again, came to me for my birthday from our old friend Rich at Muttland. He is, he has to be, the most fully developed scroll saw operator ever. And he made this because he heard me say one time I worked guiding hunters for a while in the Rocky Mountains when we lived in Wyoming. Thank you, Rich. It is breathtaking in its detail and its, in its accuracy. And I appreciate it very much. And I just want to let you know that your packing was superb and it made the trip in perfect shape. I'm going to put this somewhere where people can appreciate it. Thanks. Half a dozen letters here. And I want you to know that every one of these letters is carefully read. And a lot of them are never forgotten. And the other thing is that I want you to know that letters that come from you who are participating as supporters are almost overwhelming sometimes. And so thank you specifically for that and for your generosity. But there's a wide range, as there always is. There's a letter here from a young man who's part of a university space program. They're developing a rocket that's going to reach to the edge of space. How about that? Tangerine space machine. There's a letter here from a barrister retired in Canada. There's a great, there's a great letter reminding me about personal safety and the, the real costs and the real benefits around job site safety um, from an engineer, Philip Kniesel. Thank you for that. I read it carefully. I'll not soon forget it. An instructor in a high school shop class. Also, oh, a fellow who's, he and his wife sent us a box of avocados and citrus from San Diego. Thank you, one and all. Thank you for, for going out of your way and taking your time, and in many cases, going to the expense of sending us these really exhilarating mementos. So this last letter is from Leroy P. Stoltzfus. And this is the end of a long story about an anvil that got away from its home in Pennsylvania. Nate got it at an online auction back east. It ended up in Oregon, and now it's back. It's home again. And the story is going to be told in detail, in uh, probably somewhat emotional detail, actually, on our podcast on EC2. But in the meantime, let me just stay, say this. Leroy, I'm glad you've got your dad's anvil back. So once again, as always, thank you, everybody, for watching and participating in what we've got going on here. And keep up the good work.